Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into GASB 87 and how to calculate an amortization schedule for leases. If you're ready to simplify your lease accounting, stay tuned. GASB 87, or Governmental Accounting Standards Board Statement Number 87, 7, establishes standards for accounting and financial reporting for leases by state and local governments. This standard requires organizations to recognize a lease liability and an intangible right-to-use lease asset on their balance sheets, enhancing the transparency and comp financial statements. Let's first look at some key concepts of GASB 87. Lease Classification Leases convey control of the right to use another entity's non-financial asset as specified in the contract for a period in exchange for consideration. Lease Liability The present, present value of future lease payments Right to use asset The value of the right to use the underlying asset over the lease term. Lease Term the non-cancellable period plus renewal options that are reasonably certain to be exercised. Discount rate. The rate discount future lease payments to their present value. To create an amortization schedule for a lease under GASB 87, follow these steps. Step 1. Gather lease details. Starting with the lease term. Duration of the lease. Lease payments. Periodic, payment. Periodic payments made for the lease. Discount rate. The rate used to discount future lease payments to their present value. Step 2. Calculate the present value of lease payments. Using the discount rate, calculate the present value of future lease payments. This value will be both the initial lease liability and the initial right to use asset. Step 3. Amortize the lease liability for each period. Interest expense. Calculate as the lease liability times the discount rate. Lease payment. Subtract the interest expense from the lease payment to get the principal portion. Lease portion. Lease liability reduction. Subtract the principal portion from the lease liability. Step 4. Amortize the right to use asset straight line over the lease term, recognizing periodic amortization expense. Let's look at an example. Let's assume the following lease details. Three years. Annual lease payment, $10,000. Discount rate, 5%. So the first step is to calculate the present value of the lease payments. Using the formula, the present value of the lease payments is approximately $27,232.56. And this amount becomes the initial lease liability. Now let's look at the amortization schedule for lease liability in year one. Interest equals $27,232.56 times 0.05, which is equal to $1,361.63. Principal equals $10,000 minus $1,361.63 which is equal to $8,638.37. New liability equals $27,232.56 minus $8,638.37, which is equal to $18,594.19. Continue similarly for subsequent years. For the amortization schedule for right-to-use asset, assume straight-line amortization over the lease term. Year 1. Amortization expense equals $27,232.56, which is equal to $9,077.52. Ending balance equals $27,000. $232.56 minus $9,077.52, which is equal to 18 to 18,000, $155.04. Continue similarly for subsequent years. By following these steps, you can create an amortization schedule under GASB 87, ensuring compliance and clarity in your lease accounting. 
stay tuned for more accounting tips and tutorials. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.